welcome back to Bulgari Hotel Milano. I am Roberto and uh, tonight uh, I have in my kitchen Max Nisson, one of the best chefs of the Northern Europe. Tonight my dish in honor to Magnus is a mix of uh, my culture and uh, the particular Magnus cuisine. It's a uh, part of the forest in honor to Magnus, a part of the uh, sea. It's a uh, baccala with uh, asparago from Piedmont Forest, Bosco Palli, black truffle and uh, crumble of cacao. For my dish, I will use uh, a special type of garlic grown in my garden. Behind uh, my kitchen, the name is uh, Garlic Lovers because uh, after uh, heat, this type of garlic, uh, you can kiss your lover. My name is uh, Magnus Nilsson and uh, I run a restaurant called Fabrik in Magasinet up sort of way up north in Sweden. And I'm here for uh, three days in Milan to cook at the Bulgari Hotel a couple of dishes from the restaurant. We, uh, we work uh, mainly with produce from the region where the restaurant is located. It's fantastic to see how many great products we can get in a very, very small limited area that far north in the world. Uh, and it's not always the kind of rarest or strangest products that's the most interesting. It can also be equally interesting to see how much you can do with it, like a simple carrot. You can also decide which seed to plant, when to plant it, when to harvest it, how to water it and all of those things. And by doing so also um, making a huge difference on the flavor of the resulting dish. We have this dish uh, which is a scallop, uh, which we had on the menu for several years now. It's a scallop cooked in the shell over uh, a fire, a burning um, a birch and juniper fire which is then served on a bed of moss from the forest. And this region where I run the restaurant, it's uh, located very close to the Norwegian coastline where you get the scallop, but it's also deeply embedded in high forests. So it's really a, a perfect kind of uh, reflection of the whole place. But so tonight uh, I've brought uh, a small selection of dishes from the Favikin menu down to Milan. First there are a couple of small appetizers. Then there is the scallop dish that I mentioned earlier. There is a, a dish of king crab. And then there is a, a dish which is based on many different grains. They're from up north. Um, there's also a pork shop and uh, a couple of simple desserts. I think one of the most interesting things for me, uh, cooking in a place like this, the Bulgari Hotel in Milano, is the uh, kind of contrast between what I do, the, you know, the um, complexity through simplicity that we put into the actual cooking, and you know, the luxury and the uh, complexity of a, a big hotel, a luxury hotel like this. Magnus, a real Viking, a guy who is only 32 years old, becoming less than seven years, one of the most distinguished, trendiest and at the same time truest innovators in cuisine. With Magnus we came back to a much more natural approach to cuisine with new techniques like fermentation. One could say that uh, Nordic cuisine is uh, also a survival cuisine. If you go deep down in the north, mid-winter time, you cannot find a lot of products. The weather, the sun condition is totally different for us. For example, the, the vegetables, they grow much later, but they have a kind of 24-hour sun. So after two months, they are much sweeter than our carrots. Also, the seasons are very short. So uh, what do you eat during the winter time if you don't stock stuff in your cellar? Uh, what do you do? You can start uh, processing your food, fermenting it. Uh, Magnus used to cook uh, two years old carrots. Uh, so it takes a, a different approach. You don't just pan fry it for five minutes like you would do with a fresh carrot, but it takes techniques that come, say, from uh, braised meat. So you, uh, you cook it slowly, you, you put the juice all around the carrot. It's like it was a, a, a real meat. <laughs> 